Good day everyone! So for today's video, we're going to have the different operations on functions. And the first one is, and how are we going to add functions? Or we have the addition of functions. Now, in, ad in adding functions, uh, it is a requirement for us to have, of course, two functions. That may be f and g. So if f and g are functions, then f plus g of x equals f of x plus g of x. We simply, we simply add uh, the two functions. So let us have an example. Let's say that f of x equals 2x minus 1 and g of x equals 9x minus 3. We are to find for f plus g of x. So based on our definition, ang gagawin natin is for us to just combine the two, uh, the two functions. And that is f plus or f of x plus g of x. Next is that we have to rewrite, of course, f of x since ayun po yung nauna sa ating statement. And f of x equals 2x minus 1. That's 2x or 2x minus 1. And then, sabi, we are to add it with g of x. So we have plus... Please do not forget to put parenthesis because it would be uh, it would be very important on our next um, uh, on our next operations. Uh, we have to train ourselves uh, uh, doing it para sa sanay na tayo. Okay, so plus g of x, which is which is nine x minus three. So we have nine x minus three, and then afterwards we're going to eliminate or omit the uh, parenthesis, since wala naman siyang mababago, so we have 2x minus 1 plus 9x minus 3. And then after this, we are to combine like terms. Okay? Since um, 2x and 9x both have the same variables with the same exponent, then they are alike. So we have 2x. So idudugsong po natin, eh, kasama po yung sign, so that is plus 9x, and then we have the constants negative 1 and negative 3. So we have minus 1, minus 3. And then after this, we're going to um, combine them, okay, or simplify. So that is 2x plus 9x, or simply saying 2 plus 9, that is 11. And then we are just going to copy their variables, that is x. And then we have negative 1 minus 3, or in real life, parang sinabi mo na meron kang utang na isa, at sinundan mo ng utang na tatlo, then that would be uh, negative 4. So we have minus 4. Hence, f plus g of x, or f of x plus g of x equals this one, 11x minus 4. So that will be for our first Example. Next, let f of x be equal to x squared minus x plus 4 and g of x equals 5x minus 3. Just like what we did a while ago, we're going to find f plus g of x. So, ang mauna po nating statement is si f of x plus g of x. And then what we're going to do is to write first what f of x is. That is x squared minus x plus 4. And then followed by the addition operation or the addition sign. That it's plus and then we have to put parenthesis. And then we are to write g of x. And that would be 5x minus 3. And then afterwards, we have to omit or tatanggalin natin yung parenthesis. Um, in addition, wala pong, wala pong kaso kung tanggalin natin yung parenthesis dahil wala naman pong mababago sa sign. And that would become x squared minus x plus 4 plus 5x minus 3. And then after this, we are going to um, rearrange the way na magkakasama na po yung like terms. So hanapin natin meron bang like terms si x squared or are there terms na meron ding x squared na term? So, kung wala, then we'll leave x squared as it is. And then followed by x term. We have negative x at saka si positive 5x. They are alike because they have the same variable. So, that is negative x plus 
5x. And then afterwards, we have the constants positive 4 and negative 3. And then after this, we are now to um, simplify. Since wala pong kapareho si x squared, then we leave x squared. That is x squared. And then <clears throat> negative x plus 5x, that is simply saying negative 1. Okay, meron ditong 1 yan. Negative 1 plus 5x, so that would become positive 4x. And then, we simplify positive 4 minus 3, that is positive 1. Hence, f plus g of x is equal to x squared plus 4x plus y. So that's how we add these two functions. I hope this is clear. Before we proceed with our last example. Let's say for example, we have let, uh, f of x equals 3x squared minus 7x plus 4. And g of x equals 2x squared plus 5x minus 8. What we are going to do is to do the same or to apply what we have applied a while ago. And that would become, sabi dito, we are to find for f plus g of x. So we have f of x plus g of x. Since nauna sa statement si f of x. Then we write f of x, that would be 3x squared minus 7x plus 4. Followed by the addition sign. And then we write g of x inside the parenthesis. That is 2x, 5, 2x squared plus 5x minus 8. And then after this, we omit the parenthesis that would become 3x squared minus 7x plus 4 plus 2x squared plus 5x minus 8. Okay? And then after this, we are now to rearrange it in a way na magkakasama po yung like terms. Okay? So, si 3x squared, meron bang term na meron ding x squared na variable? Okay, very good. That would be positive 2x squared. So, meaning they are Alike. So, pagsunurin natin siya, that is 3x squared plus 2x squared. And then after that, we, we proceed with the x term. That is negative 7x at ang kalike term niya would be positive 5x. So, that is negative 7x plus 5x. And then we proceed with the constants. That is positive 4 and negative 8. And then after this, we simplify. Plus, uh, 3x squared plus 2x squared, that is simply saying 3 plus 2, that would become 5, and then we copy their variable, that is x squared. Okay? And then we have negative 7 plus, negative 7x plus 5x, that is simply saying negative 7 plus 5, that is negative 2, and then we copy the variable x. Okay? And lastly, we have positive 4 minus 8, that is negative Four. Hence, f of x plus g of x is equal to 5x squared minus 2x minus 4. And that's how we add functions.